car basher basher type uh, braking double tap to reverse. That is the standard control that an on-road racing car would have. So if you were driving a um, you know, buggy style or a race car, like just one-tenth scale RC car, you, it wouldn't automatically apply brakes when you let off your throttle. Um, your brake would be something that you push the reverse throttle, and it's proportional. So you can accelerate, and then it'll freewheel. If you want to brake, then you start applying reverse the brake. So you have a proportional brake, so you can slow down as much as you want to when you get to corners. Um, and then if you want to reverse, you have to double tap. So you have to basically come back to center and then go into reverse again. So it has to be your second reverse action that will actually make you reverse the car. And this is, uh, this is fairly uh, sort of a standard RC car style control. Um, but um, it's, yeah, and especially if you've got a, uh, a very uh, low gear ratio fast vehicle, you don't really want it to be in complementary PWM or, or putting on a, a drag brake with, uh, on full blast on you because it'll just start rolling on you I and mean, it'll just or lock up the wheels so you need to be able to uh, control the braking uh, proportionally so it's uh, that's what it allows you to do All right, but well, it's uh, when that's on then pretty much every other setting is <laughs> I mean, pretty much it, it doesn't really it overrides complementary PWM brake on stop I think um, the startup power, it overrides um, stall protection, everything, because it puts it into a basically like a different ESC mode altogether. So it's... Uh